Dottie has been in here all day long. Come on, Dots. I don't really know why. She threw a fit to be in here this morning. It was not that cold out. And normally, it's not her thing. Um, hello. Are you a needy kitty? Hmm? Say, um, probably. Oh, funny. Oh my goodness, went back to work this week. This is the second day kids were back and it seems to be going smoothly, which a little nervous because normally like this first week is always like a little bit hard, but it may be just the kids are very tired still and we'll get there eventually. Mommy, what are you doing? Hello, children. Are you not ever out in the pasture anymore? Hi, Zelda. This is it not a goat's come out? This is a mom come in. Hi, Nuggy. You guys finally to the back to fit through. And get out. Oh, hello! What's everybody doing? Why is everybody going to the barn? Let's not go to the barn. If this is where we were, let's stay out here. Come on. Come on. It's only like 3.40. Way too early to be in. Mom is a little bit late, but it's got caught leaving the building, people talking to me. So I've had a little bit of a problem with the pigs. So you notice that the girls are over here on the pig side of the pasture. So we bought those mineral blocks for the girls and the boys because there are no subtubs. And so we bought the blocks and the girls rolled there down the hill. Hello, naughty children. Yes, these are my naughty children. You guys have already had snacks today. Mom had to come home at lunch. She did. She had to come home to meet the garage repair man. She did. Pork chop. And she gave you guys grapes and apples and bananas. Yep, and some taco soup and some strawberries. She did. Y'all are in trouble though. Are you in pig jail? Are you in piggy jail? Do we need to tell our friends why Pork Drop landed himself in piggy jail? Because it is like absolutely completely your fault. It is. Would you like to plead your case or you just want to like plead guilty, spend your time in jail? Mm -hmm. They had managed, the goats had managed to roll that mineral block kind of down the hill and he could smell it. It was right up next to the divider gate. He could smell it and they lifted that divider gate up to eat the mineral. Now, something you need to know about pigs and one of the reasons that uh, it is harder to keep them with goats is Zelda. Zelda, why? Why? Yes, quit. Quit. Chai Nuggy, you're okay. Yes, hi. Let's see if we can get them to walk. Not over here. They're just very like, are you gonna put us up? Are you playing? Get him, Chai Chai. Pigs can't have minerals that goats need salt. They can get sodium poisoning. So you have to be very careful. We never put loose minerals out for the boys when they share a pen with the pigs. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on, come on. Mom got the new battery for the charger and you guys are all over there. Come on. There must still be plenty to eat over there. Anyway, so they can't have the blocks. They can't, they, <coughs> the protein tubs work pretty well because they can't really dig into them, but those blocks, they can bite and chew. Loose minerals, it always presents kind of a mineral issue for the boys, trying to figure out what's best to provide minerals for the boys while they're sharing pasture with the pigs. Really? Come on, Twizzer. Come on. Job. Pork chop found the block. It's got a ton of like molasses. It's sweet. It smells amazing. They're pigs. They're gonna eat anything that smells good. And so they started lifting up the fence to eat the block. I moved the block because I thought if he can't smell it, he's not gonna continue to do that. He lifted up the fence. He got into the barn. He's doing bad piggy things. Come on, girls. Come on, goats. Let's go. Come on, goats. Almost like they don't know that they can come out here. Parker's having so much fun. Come on, Daisy Goat! 
Come on, girlfriends. Let's go. It's very chilly. And mom's willing to come be out here with you. Let's come to the gate. Stare at mom. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We're going. Come on, Daisy. Come on, babies. I don't know why she's so hung up. So bad for the pig number one. Don't need to be eating that mineral block. Can make them very sick, could kill them. They don't have enough water to balance out the salt. They can't drink enough water. And that's not so much like there's not enough water available. That can happen, but it's like sometimes they can't physically drink enough water to compensate for the amount of salt and they get sodium poisoning. So it's just really not great for the pigs. Overall, we can get bunny moving in this direction a lot of times. We can get everybody. They did it a second day. I moved the block, but because the ground smelled like the minerals. I know, I hear that dog barking. It's pinned up. And so at this point, they're pigs. Pigs are like toddlers. And, oh no, we're all running. We're all running. Look at them run. Most of them are very pregnant, so like running is not really an option. So it's hard to get pigs once they learn to do something not to do it. So now I've got to figure out a better barrier that they can't lift or a way to tie that down better so they can't just, all they were doing was slipping it up and walking under it. Goats have done that. The goats have done that many times, but goats are not, they have to be motivated. Like there has to be a reason they want to be on that other side of the fence. And it has to be the path of least resistance for a goat to figure it out. Pigs will problem solve, which makes them trickier to own than goats. They're a lot easier in some ways because they're a lot hardier. Uh, they're more versatile, but where goats are sick and then they're dead, pigs usually recover and don't get sick as easily. But they are very mischievous and they're very smart. So Porkchop and his brother learned we had one of these gates and it tied closed and they learned to lift the gate and push together to open it. So I had to figure out a new closure for it at the old place uh, and now they figure this out. So they're in piggy jail for now until I can get that tied down better this weekend, just kind of problem solve it. I haven't wanted to work on it this week while I'm working and uh, there's no time really to test it. Why are you guys so weird? It's extra weird today. One of the reasons I don't want them together, other than just the mineral block, they dumped all the girls' water. So they went into the girls' water, they stick their head in those buckets and just, dip, just dump them all over to get water. They drink the water, and then they, but they spill it because they're not tall enough to drink out of the top the way that a goat could. So they just dump the water. They also will turn over the barn looking for grain, so they will turn over the ground in the barn, yelling at me. Yes, I hear you. You are fine. They scare the girls out of the barn. They will tip those feeders over to get in them. They're just kind of little menaces when they can find some extra snacks. So I don't want them in my barn. They would not hurt the girls. That's not the concern. They can live peacefully together. I just don't want them in my barn. We have talked about running some hot wire off of their post here from like the outside of their gate to this post and just keeping them out of this area. And then I never have to worry about a divider fence. Just two strings of hot wire would keep them in. I have an extra charger. We may do that this weekend. It would take three T-posts and clips and wire, all of which we have, and we have the charger and a grounding rod. So that could be done very easily. I would like to use some step-in plastic posts instead just because I could move them. I would love to be able to figure out a goat door almost for this area to where the goats could come out and in but the pigs couldn't. I haven't quite figured that out so they could go all the way out. I have no issue with them being anywhere on this property other than in my barn and where the girls water is. Trying now to problem solve the best way, restructure this or fix, the easy thing is to just fix the gate, the divider fence, which you can see Toonie dug. See all of this is from Toonie digging. I don't know what was right here, but I also don't want that. I don't want them to damage their pasture. That's why they're over here. But I cannot keep them in that small square because they will red it up and ruin it because they're bored. So they need enrichment. And I don't really want to buy pig toys when they're pasture raised pigs. That's why if I could get them out there, it would be fantastic. So we may see if Larry, the fence man, has time over the winter to maybe come put a gate in 
this side of the fence so that I could run them out that way in a separate hot fence. I just don't know. It's a problem. They're in piggy jail and I'll have to fix it. And I was so mad. So these guys are getting to clean up this pasture right now, which is great. They're still, I put out a quarter of a bale last night. They ate probably three fourths of it. So they're going through some hay right now. Ultrasound Lady is back on the 15th. So we should have, that's next weekend. So we should next couple of weeks get everybody ultrasounded. Everybody's bellies look so full today. Hello. These my sweet bunners. They're so good. So it's been the drama mama this week is uh, bad pickles. Everybody else is fine. My mom went back to work, so we have to get up early, which we like. We get to be fed more. It's been beautiful in the 50s and the 40s at night. Not cold. There's no cold weather, snow, rain, anything in the forecast. So, very thankful for that. All right. Grandma filled your water up today and apparently just fed you all kinds of animal cookies. Apparently my folks have been feeding them animal cookies when they come out because my cookies are almost gone. And at about four or five cookies a morning, I know it's not me that's gone through an entire bag already. you guys in a while. Doing a little bit different this year than we have typically. Obviously it's like the beginning of January <laughs> and you guys have not done this with me so it means I'm not feeding everybody at night. I'm only feeding them hay at night and only feeding them grain when it's going to be really cold or when there's a drastic change in temperature. So tonight's going to be in the upper 30s. Not a big temperature swing. It's going to refill this feeder because that one's pretty full. That's about it. Yeah I'm coming. They'll go. <laughs> yeah, did you need some hay? And we will feed the pigs. I'll let this bugger out to go poop. Nani, you better move, baby. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> See if she'll go in. Usually it's Pepper or her. Normally, this would just be kind of the reverse. What would you? Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on, that was my mom. She left her comforter over here that she washed. So she's on her way to get it. So we close the gates. Uh, the bear likes to come out here and poop, which I definitely approve of. Normally when the pigs are out, I pick up the gate and then put them in their pen for the night. Dottie, since they're in piggy jail, that is not necessary, but we will get them some dinner. I did feed them, like I said before, an apple and some bananas and some grapes and some other like fruit and veggies. I typically don't feed them food scraps that include any kind of meat. It's always just veggies. They had that for lunch today. Well, really they had breakfast at like 6.45 and then they had a snack at about 9.30 because that was when the garage repairman was here. <laughs> These guys are usually eating everything that I put out overnight. So I don't put hay out for them during the day, usually just at night. And it usually takes them like a full day to eat it. If I were to come out here in the morning and it was like totally empty, I would probably throw a couple of flakes in. It's pretty good quality horse hay. I'm just super thankful to Sean for giving it to us every year. Thankful for a place to store it this year. And so it's fine. They're getting with the minerals and that enough. And it's just not been super cold. And I don't usually feed them twice a day unless it's just really cold. And that really is just to help them keep warm overnight. Uh, no, none for the men's. No dinner for the men's. 
Uh, your bowls are way over there. So I guess mom's gonna have to come in to feed you. These guys are mad every night because they see the scoop. Try not to have oversized babies. This year we've had some just like really two big babies and the more I study I feel like maybe we're overfeeding. I know I overfed last year because of all the cold and things. Dinner time for pigs. Come on. Piggies. They desperately need that second round of feed when there's none, when they're in this small pen. I don't know if you guys can really tell. It's a little bit easier to see now that it's dark how much they've dug up in the last two days. And that's because they're bored and they're hungry. They're pasture pigs. There is some stuff left to eat out here. Good night, my precious girls. Puppy, your tongue is out. Mama, it's easier tongue. Good night, my lovely. Chilly. Probably would have shut their door last night. God, I know. It'd be quite this chilly. You guys can't see, but the boys are all bundled up in their house. The piggies are always bundled up. I think it could be 100 degrees and the piggies would be bundled up. Good morning, polar bear. Good morning. Hello, my sweet bub. Hello. Say good morning, mom. Good morning, mom. Say it feels good outside. For dip the dog. Waggy, waggy tail. Fluff nuggets. It's ready for breakfast. Are you ready for breakfast? Okay, mom's gotta go to work, so let's get going. Okay, are my littles ready? Nuggies. They're starting to get a little bit more daylight in the morning there for a while. Pretty dark in the mornings and it made filming just about impossible. But since we've had winter solstice, our days are getting longer. Good morning buddies. Good morning piggies. Were you all tucked up in your warm house? Were you all tucked up in your warm house? It was an almost draw you gave me mom. Bust up all the water. It's like 29, right at 30, so it shouldn't refreeze. Get above freezing pretty quick. Bear. Always looking for extra. See, always looking for extra mom. My silly girl. They've enjoyed being on the other side. I think something different grows over there under those trees. All right, my toot toots. 
Behave yourself today. Behave yourselves. The cookie monster's out, so mom can go to work. Ready? Go. 